What's going on guys? So I am still here at the Forest River Dealer Expo in Elkhart, Indiana. And you know, if you've seen any of the videos that we've done out here, you can tell they got a, all sorts of crazy unique floor plans. And what I really like is how the different brands are innovating and changing their ideas behind what they put into their RVs and how they equip them. Um, a brand that stands out to me is Surveyor. I kind of mentioned that. A big shout out to them. They're one of the reasons why I'm able to make it up here. They actually helped sponsor my trip up here, which I really, really appreciate. Without that type of support, it's hard to go to these events because this is a dealer only event. So bringing a journalist out here to be able to film all this, is, it's very important. That said, uh, I have a really, really cool announcement, and I think this is going to be something you guys want to follow because it's really going to tell the story that I think most people tell whenever they buy an RV. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so in front of me, I have Ben Holdry. He is with Forest River Surveyor. How are you doing today, man? Good, how are you? I'm doing really well, and I kind of hijacked him here, and he doesn't even know the, the direction I'm going with this conversation, but he definitely knows what I'm here to talk about today. So we're gonna be doing a cool collaboration with the folks over at Forest River in the Surveyor Division. This collaboration is unique because, you know, there are, there are influencers and YouTubers who get RVs, they buy RVs, and they just use them for the intended purpose of camping, just to take it out and show you how they use an RV. And we're gonna do that. But the difference here is it's gonna expand well beyond that as time goes on. So the folks over at Forest River um, made me an absolutely killer deal on a surveyor because after I did some of the videos on those super, super expensive fifth wheels, super, super expensive travel trailers from Paws, from Living Vehicle, a lot of people were like, you know what, can you feature something the average person, the average family of four that wants to get into RVing can get? And nothing really defines that better than Surveyor. So real quick, Ben, do you want to kind of explain Surveyor? Just explain the brand, um, the, the, the dominance of the market. You guys sell a ton of them. but and your target audience, who you're typically looking to sell one of these to. Yeah, so I appreciate it, JD, thanks for the intro. Um, yeah, Surveyor's been around since 2001. We've been building what we believe is one of the best built lightweight trailers on the market for over 20 years. We really have been trying to listen to the customer, listen to the dealer, um, trying to provide a better product to the end consumer. And uh, this year you're gonna see a lot of brands, I think, cutting content out of their units. We kind of took the opposite direction um, because we just believe, you know, we're taking the stance of delivering that better product to the customer. So we actually added content this year. Like JD said, we really try to deliver um, that achievable price point for your average consumer. We're not that entry level trailer, um, but we are that, you know, affordable price point. We offer a full line of half ton towable uh, product from single axle all the way on up to uh, 38 foot. Uh, bath and a half bunkhouse, 38 foot rear living in our Grand Surveyor series. We've got two different price segments that we offer. Our Legend series would be a little more um, affordable, I would say, uh, a little bit lower price point, uh, starting with the single axle, like I said, then moving up to the Grand Surveyor series where you've got even more features, standard power tongue or uh, standard electric stabilizer jack, standard 50 amp service, uh, fireplace, three quarter front cap. Um, but content, we are very focused on um, that the customer wants, uh, Goodyear tires, um, standard tire pressure monitoring system, tankless on-demand water heater, uh, just things that you know would be expensive for the customer to add aftermarket uh, that we believe they really want. So we've been trying to listen and, like I said, just deliver a better product to the customer. Yep. And before I talk about this screaming opportunity that that the folks at Surveyor set me up with, um, let's let's go inside of one of your surveyors so we can kind of talk about some of this at the same time that we're in one of your products. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a new front kitchen that we've got 268 FKBS front kitchen bed slide. Um, and all our grand surveyors, so this is a grand surveyor, like I said, front cap standard, uh, power stabilizer jacks are standard. You, you made a point that you've been listening to your customers and you've been listening to your dealers. Um, whenever you think manufacturing, you really have to look at it from the standpoint that they have to focus in on both. They have to create a unit that dealers want to buy and want to carry, and then a unit that a dealer is going to be able to sell. So that's why when he says customers and dealers, you have to do both. But you also have to be able to back it up with service because a dealer doesn't want to buy a unit that costs them more money just to maintain and sell because of warranty issues and problems. So when you see things like manufacturers using Goodyear tires, it's, it's certainly a higher cost for you as a manufacturer to do it. And some people may never know. You might see Trailer King tires, Rainier tires, all these tires that you typically see on travel trailers. 
not understanding that the difference between one of those tires and a Goodyear tire is astronomical. It's a huge difference. Absolutely. So by putting a better quality tire on, it benefits you, the consumer, not necessarily the dealer, right? It's, it's kind of one of those areas that they're looking down the road. TPMS, yes, it's a selling point, but in reality, it's a safety point. It's something that you're doing to make the unit more safe for a consumer who's going to be towing this thing down the road. Absolutely. Um, Day-night roller shades. I, I've made this point in a lot of videos. Those typically were never even contented in most of your RVs unless you got to really high-end fifth wheels. For a, the longest time, you never saw those in a travel trailer. It was always pleated blinds. But the fact that they're putting blackout shades now as a standard option or standard feature, standard feature. in a travel trailer is pretty game-changing because if you don't have those and you get the pleated blinds, it's not an easy path to upgrade to those. It's expensive. It's very right. expensive. Um, we talk about other things as well, like uh, like the vacuum cleaner in the floor. Yeah. Again, something that you may never even notice that your RV doesn't have when you walk through a dealership. But when you have it, it makes the process of getting the crumbs, getting the dirt, the stuff that gets rodents inside of your RV, the bugs, it gets all of that into a vacuum bag out of the way in a far more convenient way. So by adding that again, this is very consumer focused. This isn't dealer focused at this point. A dealer, if you didn't have that, a dealer could still sell this unit. No problem. They, they would just never make it seem like it's something you would need. But as a consumer, when you walk into an RV and you see that, that's one of those things that you're like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So again, really cool. Asdell sidewall construction. That's right. You know? Asdell on the exteriors. Yep. Um, like I said, construction is something we put a lot of pride in. Um, Asdell on the exteriors, we've been using that for a long time. PVC roof membrane on the roof, fully walkable roof on every single Surveyor model. You've got the roof ladder prep uh, from Lippert, which will accommodate the telescoping ladder. Um, but yeah, fully walkable roof on every single model. There's not a lot of lightweight trailers that can say that. Yeah. Um, well, so. something I want to bring up, and this is kind of a touchy subject for folks, um, and I hope it's not going to be one for you, but I'm kind of throwing this one at you. Yeah. I, I get a lot of feedback when I do videos on certain Forest River products, and somebody will say, never buy a Forest River. But what I want to make very clear is that every Forest River brand has control to a very large degree over the product that they put out the quality, the time that they put into it. Um, I have a good friend of mine who's been featured on this channel multiple times. His second RV, his first RV was an R-Pod. And it wasn't the greatest. He, he did have problems with it. But his second RV was a Surveyor. Now he's on like his fourth RV. It's like a Jayco now. But his second RV was a Surveyor, and he absolutely loved it. He said he had no problems with it. It was one of the best RVs he's had. And now he has a laundry list of like 50 things that he has to take his Jayco in to get fixed. Now, I'm not saying Jayco makes a bad product. I think everyone tries to focus on creating something nice. But then you have dealer demand. you got to get product out. You have to do what you need to do. But what I've noticed as I filmed Surveyor, and I filmed a lot of them before ever speaking to this guy, you see a focus on quality and fit and finish that I'm not going to say is lacking overall in the industry, but it is lacking. And you see a lot of manufacturers that don't do certain things that you guys do. And that's one of the reasons why this collaboration is going to be pretty dang profound. I think it's awesome. Yeah, and you know, I'll be the first one to admit, we're far from perfect, but it is something that we work on every single day, improving our culture, getting our workers to buy in to, to what we're trying to do and produce a better quality product every day. Um, but yeah, there's a misconception out there. You know, Forest River, we build tons of products, right? all different price points and so that's we try to educate customers um, and there's nothing wrong with any of the products I mean you know like you said there's obstacles that we we mm -hmm. go up against daily um, and these are man-made products so we have to understand that we're, we're certainly not claiming to be perfect but we are working very hard every day to raise the bar on quality um, and I think we're doing that Yep. So I think this is a really good opportunity to talk about this collaboration that's going to happen. So um, again, they helped bring me out here, which I really appreciate that. But uh, you, the viewer, you may not know this, but I get reached out to almost on a weekly basis from RV manufacturers across the gamut, just wanting to do a collaboration with my channel. Sometimes they're very expensive, unique offerings. Sometimes they're very, very low cost entry level offerings. And I think what most people are looking for is that every family RV unit and I think Surveyor kind of hits that perfectly. They're not stupidly expensive. They're not, you know, undervalued cheap to where you're like, how do we get this thing to be the lowest, cheapest product? Well, let's strip everything out of it and make it super cheap and put cosmetic things that make people want to buy it. That's not what you guys do. You, you guys focus, again, Goodyear tires. You guys put good things on your RV that cheap, super low-cost RVs decontent to try to bring that price down. Yep. 
Um, what I like about this is the fact that if you go to a dealership and you look at a surveyor, it's very likely going to be an RV that a lot of other people already own. A lot of people have had these. And this collaboration is going to make a lot of sense now. So the reason why we're doing this, again, they made me a, an opportunity to get a unit. Um, and it's a smaller unit, right? What, what's the model I think that we're doing? 240 BHL. I was looking for it here. They didn't have it here because it's not a new floor plan. This is really for their new floor plans. Um, but it's a, a floor plan that's been established. It's a very good selling floor plan. Absolutely. Not super big. It's only about, what, 26 feet long, something like that? 27 overall. A 27 foot long overall. Um, half ton towable. That's right. Right? Around 5,000 pounds. Around 5,000 pounds. Um, and then once we don't load it up to capacity, because I think the GVWR and it's like 7,000 something pounds but we're not going to load it up that heavy. It's going to give me an opportunity to do things on my channel that I haven't been able to do in the past. For instance, we have a Denali with the tow package. I'd love to do some towing with that half ton truck. You know, you don't need an F450 to tow a surveyor, right? So it's going to give me an opportunity to have a trailer right in that mid to heavier side of what I recommend for half ton towing. It's going to give me the ability to test out weight distribution hitches, different weight distribution hitches. B&W has this really cool one, Continuum. It's a hydraulic weight distribution hitch. I've been wanting to test that thing out for so long, but I haven't had the right trailer to do it on. It's going to be a great opportunity to test it on that, especially because this trailer leans towards the heavier side of half ton towable in my, my opinion. Third, um, WaySafe has all sorts of really great weight distribution hitches. I want to try those out. Um, so it gives me the ability to use this towing technology that I have in a real life fashion with a trailer that very, that's very popular, that people are going to have. And they're going to be like, hey, I have that surveyor. I've been wanting to know how that hitch works with that specific trailer. Um, so we're going to use the trailer. We're going to use it. We're going to take it out. I love the fact that it's the right size for those quick weekend trips. We can go out to the beach with it. Um, I don't have to worry about taking a, an 18,000 pound fifth wheel out on the sand and hoping I can get it out of the sand. You can take it anywhere. You can take it to state parks, everywhere we want to be able to go with a smaller travel trailer. It's going to be a bunkhouse, so that's really cool too. So we can put the kids in the back and we can enjoy it from that side. It has a really awesome new outside kitchen. I love how you guys are doing the outside kitchens now. Um, but we're going to use it, but this is the challenge. Typically with collaborations, it's like, well, you can borrow the unit and then you send the unit back. And unfortunately, you can't really do anything to it. It's like we're using it just like I did with the Palomino Paws. I, I had it, but I can't modify it. Whenever we start talking about different things we want to do to a travel trailer that people that buy them want to do, that's where modifying it is really important. So it was important that we actually get this RV, that this is a unit that we can do whatever we want to do with it, and we can start adding accessories to it. We can start doing things that people who own RVs do, right? And that was really cool that you guys were, were good with that, that it's yep. like, let's do it because that's what RVers do. They don't buy an RV and they're like, hey, let's keep it the same forever. Let's modify this. Let's do things <coughs> to it. Right. So um, how do you feel about that overall? I think that, that that's what people are asking. Like if JD throws different <clears throat> suspension on it, if he throws a different tongue jack, if he throws different lighting in, how do you view that from a manufacturing perspective? Yeah, well, I mean, it kind of goes back to what I said before, right? We care about what the customer wants and thinks. Um, I mean, that's how you develop a better product. I mean, a lot of the stuff that we do, we hear from dealers, we hear from customers, we hear it at shows, um, and we implement it in our product. Not everything, but a lot of it. Um, a lot of the stuff we do comes from that. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm 100% open to making some changes to the product, seeing what the customers think. Uh, maybe it leads to a brand new product. Maybe it leads to a better surveyor product. So, yeah, we're... I mean, we're thrilled with the yep. opportunity. And then after time goes by and we've done this, we've actually agreed to kind of work together and see if we can come up with something unique, innovative, and different for Surveyor. Yep. So that's pretty Absolutely. cool, too. So I just wanted to give that announcement. I know we drug it out over like a 15-minute long video, but I think it was important for you to understand the backstory, what Surveyor is, who they're marketing to, that this is not for the folks looking to buy a $100,000 RV. This is for folks who, correct me if I'm wrong, fall more into that maybe thirty-five to fifty thousand dollar range for an RV that that it, it might be their first or second. Maybe they bought something super cheap that they regret and they want to upgrade from that to something better. This is probably what you're looking at. And this is this is going to compete very well against the other brands that kind of fall into that same category of RV, that same size. So you're going to be able to see throughout these videos the difference and the comparisons between Surveyor and some of the other brands, some of the advantages, maybe some of the disadvantages, and some of the things that, that you either love about it or some of the things you might want to be improved. And this is going to give them amazing feedback about the product as well. 
right. So Ben, I really appreciate it. I know I'm a long talker and he's been super patient just kind of standing here, let me point a camera at him. But I'm super excited to kick this thing off and we'll start having content come out very soon on the new, uh, the new travel trailer when it arrives. Yeah, really all right, sounds good. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, now is an amazing time to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and check out the folks over at Forest River Surveyor because they have a really incredible product lineup and uh, we filmed several of them while we were out here. So go check out those videos. Again, if you haven't had a chance, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.